Why am I leaving my money, you know, a lot of dough in a bank and getting no interest on it when they're loaning it out and making money on it? How dare you? This is your, all I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more. What's up, XRP Moon Captains? What's up, Crypto Ghost? It's the Bagman, the Moon Commander, back on the mothership. Mothership 589. How's everyone doing out there? Hope y'all are doing well, holding strong, stuffing those bags, and continuing to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing the likes. Shout out to all the new members, all the new subscribers, and the 1% bud busting, bag stuffing army. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Get those souls extra bullish so you can go about your day loading up on these bags. Sheep trying to sell when it didn't turn out well. Blink of an eye, red candle, it all fell. Bitcoin was a demo, you ain't get the memo. XRP currently at 57 cents, up about 13%. We went as low as about 50 cents. Now XRP back up. It looks like XRP may have hit the bottom before we start rising up for that next push. Let me know what y'all think down below. If we take a look at this previous pattern here where the SEC great shakeout came, you can see we're having an almost similar correction to what we're having now. If you take a look here, it looks like XRP may have hit the bottom. XRP currently about 100 days into this moonshot correction. This may be moonshot one, maybe moonshot two. If we take a look at the previous bull run, after moonshot two was our longest correction was about 207 days. The one before that was only about 25 days. So, so XRP currently 100 days almost into this moonshot correction. We're still waiting for XRP to reach those all time highs. We got some depositions coming up. Also some deadlines coming up and a whole bunch of stuff going up for August. Let me know what y'all think down below for XRP. When do you think that next move is coming? Ripple gains higher ground for XRP. SEC plague with top level infighting, says the new Ripple filing in support of the fair notice defense states that the commissioner Pierce and Roseman have candidly explained that there is a decided lack of clarity for the market participants around the application of the security laws to digital assets and their trading. It'll be interesting to see how the SEC tap dances in its responses to the defendant's filings about Pierce and Roisman's statements in a view about the obvious infighting at the highest level of the commission. The SEC needs to put the house in order, said James F. Killian. The bombshell comes in good timing for the Ripple Council, who will have ex-SEC Director Hinman depose on July 27th in order to further strengthen its fair notice defense. The following day, July 28th, is the deadline for the request response from the SEC Chair Gensler to the Senator Elizabeth Warren. She has requested information about the regulator's authority to properly regulate cryptocurrency exchanges and determine if Congress needs to act to ensure that SEC has proper authority to close existing gaps in regulation. So him in deposition July 27th. And the following day, July 28th, is the deadline for the requested response from SEC Chair Gensler to Senator Elizabeth Warren. So if we take a look at the SEC shakeout here, you can see the last bottom here. A couple days later, begin to pick up and then we went up to $1.80. You can see XRP may be bottoming out here. And then we have those key dates coming up at the end of July. So watch out for the end of July going into August for XRP. Link2 Ripple is back. Link2 is offering private equity in Ripple once more. Sold out as always. Super quick. People who know Ripple is going to change the world with the most advanced blockchain technology for global payments. Financial institutions can expand into new markets and even eliminate pre-funding. XRP. Johnny DN says, think about what role XRP is saying. It says, you have to be fast. Thanks to Link2 Inc. Maybe next round Ripple IPO, SEC Gov. Pay with XRP, the currency from Uphold Inc. Johnny Dean says if you want to purchase an actual security in the form of stock in the company Ripple Labs, you can use your XRP in your Uphold wallet to buy the stock through Link2 Inc. I use this example in XRP's holder's motion to intervene. XRP is not a security. SEC chair hints some stable coins are securities. Stock tokens and stable coins backed by securities might be treated as securities under U.S. law, 
SEC Chair Gary Gensler said, Make no mistake, it doesn't matter whether it's a stock token, a stable value token backed by securities, or any other virtual product that provides synthetic exposure to underlying securities, he says. These platforms, whether in the decentralized or centralized finance space, are implicated by the security laws and must work within our securities regime. Regulations at the doorsteps, a lot going on for cryptocurrencies in the backgrounds. A whole bunch of meetings coming up in August. We shall see what happens, but good thing we have our bags packed now. Fidelity says 71% of institutional investors plan to buy crypto, even in the midst of a major sell-off. The majority of institutional investors surveyed by Fidelity expect to hold or invest in digital assets in the future. And they're probably loading up on the sell-off right now while the weak hands are getting shaken out. The diamond hands continue adding to that generational wealth bag. Shout out to Bynum XRP says my money is completely out of the banks. Right. We wrote about it in the Trends Journal. The numbers are pumped way up. You get no money from the bank, so go to the stock market. You got it. Where, where are you going to get interest on your money as it's going down, as it's losing its value? Again, for me, gold and silver. Yeah. And I know, you know, and again, talking about J.P. Morgan Chase, how many felony counts were they convicted of? Oh, only five. Only five. And one of them was rigging the precious metals market. Slap on the wrist, a $900 million fine. Hey, how come Jamie Dimon isn't in jail? Maybe they should have put him next to Epstein. Oh, no, no. The bigs don't go to jail. Oh, you went six miles over the speed limit. Where were you? How many drinks did you have? Stand on your head and repeat the alphabet backwards. But the big banksters robbing us right in, oh how about this how about all the wells fargo's and all the other ones the city how about all the dirty deals they did making up stuff for customers and charging them extra they get a slap on the wrist for it again you got the drug dealers that people call big pharma you got the military industrial complex and you got the gamblers the casinos that are running america and most of the world i was born to be free and now i'm having these little jerks telling me what to do and how to do it as they're stealing my money in front of my eyes and giving it to the criminal groups that have been charged with felonies, convicted of them, and they don't go to jail, they get a slap on the wrist, fine, that's not my America. Uh, Lynette Zhang, uh, who's a good friend of our show, she, she writes for your magazine as well uh, as a contributor. I asked her the question if she's you know completely out of the banks and if she has any cash, and I'm gonna ask you this as well. Um, you know, you, you talk about your love for gold and silver and protecting your wealth during these times. Uh, would you be completely out of the banking system now? I am. I, a matter of fact, take a quick story. I went to the bank, you know, we had a big amount of money there. We called up and they had a machine counting it all up and we put it somewhere else. Why am I leaving my money, you know, a lot of dough in a bank and getting no interest on it? when they're loaning it out and making money on it. How dare you? And then the person said to me, may I ask what you're going to be doing with this? I said, no. And the old me uh, would have- Throwing it in to XRP, <laughs> loading up on the greatest opportunity at hand. This guy's mainly gold and silver, but I'm also throwing mine into XRP, digital assets, cryptocurrencies, forget the banks and become your own bank. Shout out to GDLT, Fiat is the Phoenix, XRP and digital assets will make them stronger. So the Milwaukee Bucks ended up winning the championship tonight. And when they won, I was like, at first, my first reaction was like, damn, I was totally wrong on my freaking narrative that I was creating and talking about with not only that I was creating, but some Blue Crew members, you know, we were dialoguing and figuring out maybe the Phoenix Suns make a comeback and end up winning the championship and being like the symbol of the rise of the Phoenix, right? But after watching them win and remembering that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Tampa Bay Bucks, won just recently. And not only that, they spoke today. Remember, that was a piece of news today that Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Bucks spoke, right, at, at the White House today. So you had a day of the Bucks. Today was the day of the Bucks, right? The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the champions. We all know about their skull, skull and bone symbology, all that type of stuff, right? But now we got the Bucks winning. So you have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers winning the Super Bowl championship. You have the Bucks winning. So what does that mean? Does that mean that the dollar is going to beat XRP? 
because we believe XRP and digital assets to be the Phoenix, right? What does this mean? So what I noticed while watching the game, there's this jersey that a lot of fans were wearing. It's a fire jersey. It's a jersey with flames. And it has the bucks, right? And in fire. And it just reminded me of that Economist cover from 1988, right? I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with some of this information. Maybe not so much the jersey, the Bucks jersey and being on flames. But isn't it funny that Economist cover had the dollars in flames, the Bucks in flames, if you will, right? But maybe, maybe guys, we have been interpreting this all wrong. Maybe we have been interpreting the inflation of the dollar, the inflation of currency across the globe, the, the coming of CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, the arrival that will soon come, right? They're already testing a bunch of CBDCs, central bank digital currencies. They're already testing this stuff, right? China being in the lead, apparently. Maybe the US is sneakily going to come from behind. We'll have to see. But if we look back, maybe we've been viewing this all wrong, guys. Maybe we've been viewing the dollar thinking because of inflation, because of all these things, that the dollar and its liquidity, as long, along with the euro, along with the yuan, along with some other currencies that are dominant in our world, thinking that they're dead, basically, because of that inflation, because of what's been going on to fiat. We believe at this stage of the game, fiat is a completely dead vehicle, right? We'd rather put our trust into something like gold, put it into something like digital assets, right? And those two will have their part. Those two will succeed, I believe, in this future. Because here, like in the Economist cover, we have a gold, gold medallion worn by this phoenix, right? So now, what if the fire is a symbol of transformation, right? Instead of death and the phoenix rising from these ashes, what if the dollar somehow in this future ends up coming up to rise from the ashes in the form of CBDC's central bank digital currencies? and what the impact of these central bank digital currencies will have on the lives of millions, if not billions, in time. Because remember, the goal of these central banks and what they're trying to do is to bring financial inclusion to everybody on the planet. Bank the unbanked, as we have heard. So what if through the transformation of central bank digital currencies and the use of digital assets like XRP, like XLM, like other digital assets that are out there that are not trying to replace fiat, but to be used as tools for this new financial system, the plumbing, if you will, funneling our major currencies of today, like the US dollar, like the euro, like the yuan. And so it made me start thinking, man, have we not been listening? Have I not been listening? Have I been thinking about this other narrative, which is kind of anarchic, right? Where digital assets become the prominent prominent thing that we use that the global society will use right but remember we've heard brad garlinghouse say people will use digital assets without even knowing it they're just going to have a better payment experience through their payment providers through their central banks relationships with their banks will get better so have we just been thinking xrp is just going to be this global currency that everybody's going to use and they're going to be aware that they're using it xlm is going to be a digital currency that they're going to use they're going to be aware that they're using it bitcoin is going to replace central banking right it's going to take over and remove these intermediaries and not be used. So then it made me look back in our history, right? Especially, this is very XRP focused. Let me know what y'all think down below. GDLT, I think he nailed this one right on the head. Think down below for GDLT, Fiat is the Phoenix, XRP and digital assets will make them stronger. First, we got the Tampa Bay Bucks. Now we got the Milwaukee Bucks beating out the Phoenix. Predictive programming or just conspiracy. Let me know what y'all think down below. Royal Bank of Canada has and will be in the process of changing their banking structure patent from 2019. You can see interbank clearing and settlement ledger, public distributed ledger network. You can, you can see the differences here, lower transaction speeds, immutable ledger consensus, smart contracts, decentralized network ownership, Royal Bank of Canada in the process of jumping on to that DLT. Ripple is valuable, efficient, scalable and cost effective that's the power of the ripple net and why they want your bags back shout out to skies tribe 13 who sent me this central banks of france and wholesale cross-border cbdc trial july 19 2021 
The experiment used a blockchain-based wholesale central bank digital currency to carry out wire transfers between commercial banks in each country instead of using SWIFT. The primary motivation behind this wholesale CBDC trial was to find a way of making commercial cross-border transfers real-time, more transparent, and cost-effective. Sounds like <laughs> what Ripple just said or what Ripple just tweeted. This operation constitutes the first use case wholesale CBDCs as a mean to operate retail transfers and paves the way for further studies between central banks to improve remittances. Jump on that ripple net. James Rule XRP. I'm reposting this because this is real. SIM swaps are happening daily and investors are losing their crypto. 2FA with your cell phone provider today. Family loses 75,000 in cryptocurrency to SIM card thieves. He says do this sim swap protection on a Verizon phone go to cellular settings choose sim pin turn on default pin is 111 change the pin choose a private four digit pin enter twice all set and here goes the article right here family loses 75,000 in cryptocurrency to sim card thieves there's an online way to switch sim cards on your own you have the whole operation somebody that finds the account somebody who specialized in switching these sims Coinbase is insured, but because the thieves were able to access the account using the proper smartphone security protocol, the money lost will not be reissued. The Secret Service advises consumers to ask your phone carrier for additional security measures, including a 16-digit PIN, voice print authentication, facial authentication, and two-factor authentication in which a code is sent to you and you send the code back from your cell phone. Watch out for the scammers out there. Not just the big scammers like the SEC, but the little ones. Everyone out there, they want those bags. They know what you're holding. I am the XRP Bagman, the Moon Commander, currently on the mothership. Appreciate you stopping by and loading up some bags with the Bagman. Catch you all in the next one. Continue holding those good vibes and continue spreading that liquid love. I'll catch you all up here on the mothership. Continue stuffing those bags and continue staying extra, extra bullish out there. Peace out, crypto family. Blow, ain't no told you souls. I'm a big ghost. I'm a big ghost. We hold the gold. I be super bullish like the barrel boo boo. My life boat full, ready for the big boom. Astronaut suit, headed for the moon. With my hodo gang crew, had the 2020 vision. Yeah, we all knew. Now we pulling up in something brand new. New house on the avenue, beach house and cabin too. Normally I don't flex, but I had to go all out. You said it couldn't happen. Now we floating through the clouds. You see us popping off, you be like, holy cow, I missed the show. Down.